Hello everybody, this is Greg29407, back with another episode of City Skylines. We're doing our tips and tricks right now on a series of videos. And what I want to talk about today is unique buildings involving tourism and leisure. And uh, right now we are in my Prussian Peaks uh, town. And there are my little tourism area that I've got set up called Holly Park. And I'm going to go ahead and put this on hold here so uh, the computer's moving a little faster. And uh, so this is an area for my town that I created specifically for tourism and, and leisure. So I wanted a bunch of tourists coming in here. And uh, I've got a district set up for it. And it's right here. And what I've done is I've created a bunch of tourist buildings and then a bunch of hotels and things like that to service all the tourism buildings. And uh, the best way of doing this is uh, to find a bunch of the, uh, the unique buildings that are in here. So if you go in here under unique buildings, there are a lot of different categories here. And these include things like a uh, department store. There's a generic one. It came to the game City Hall. Uh, in this case, cinema. Um, the shopping center. Theater. Some of these things you have to earn, like the London Eye, you have to have two airports before you can get the London Eye. Uh, government offices, that actually brings people in for some reason. Entertainment value is not that high. Look at 50 on that one. Uh, the hypermarket, entertainment value of 100. The winter market, entertainment value of 70. Here's some things you got to earn. Uh, sports arena, we, can get lot, we have lots of sports arenas. That one you have to uh, have a lot of money spent on education. There are all sorts of things in here. Uh, if you click on all these different items here, here's a fantastic fountain, which we have right there. Here is the uh, festival area, which we have right there. And then you have other categories. Now, as you go through, you can find other items on the Steam Workshop and add those in here for other things that, that will be uh, considered uh, uh, tourism type things. Government tax office is considered a tourism thing. <laughs> I think it's just a government thing. Uh, here I've got like Party City and Coles and things like that. The Opera House, which we have right over here. So the thing about these unique buildings is not only do they, they boost um, your property uh, values in the area, but they also bring in tourism. So in my little district here, I have the Science Center, which brings in look like 32 tourists last week. The theater, which is 78 tourists last week. The aquarium, 56 tourists last week. The botanical gardens, eight tourists last week. The MAM Modern Art Museum, 36 tourists. The cinema, 88 tourists. People like their movies here. Theater of Wonder, 77 tourists. And the Expo Center of 69 tourists. So I've got all these things in this, this little area over here. And what I've done is I also have laid out all these, uh, I've got this zoned for uh, tourism. So that's why we have all these massive hotels over here. Um, hotel, 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 they're all hotels. And, and there's some little nightclubs and things like that here. Um, I just zoned this uh, specifically for tourism. So let's see if we can see this. Is what you can do is when you click on here, leisure specialization, organic local produce, no commercial specialization, and tourism. So I got this this district as tourism. You can kind of see the little the little circle there, right under that. This is Holly Park, that matches this. If I switch this over to uh, leisure, and have like the little clown face thing here, and and all these buildings would suddenly change to like bars and nightclubs and things like that. But, primarily in a few smaller hotels. So now here's the thing. When you have an area like this, it really helps your your um, your population. It brings in a lot of traffic, brings in a lot of uh, interest too, though. Um, I laid this out at the same time I did my airport. And my airport has lots and lots and lots of uh, people coming into town. Uh, I've got this little section right here laid out as uh, uh, tourism, I think. Yeah, yeah, tourism as well. Uh, so I got all these uh, hotels here. I don't have a lot of uh, special buildings bringing in more people, but since they're coming into the airport, the airport brings in all the people, and then they have hotels to stay in. And some of those hotels are pretty nice. I got some fancy swimming pools over here and some residential over there. But having a, a, a tourist area uh, can really kind of boost up your town. Now, 
My problem on this map is I laid everything out in this one area. I like having it in one area, but unfortunately, as I discussed in my uh, uh, Prussian Peaks video, the way I've got this thing set up, there's only two entrances into this area and two exits out of the, this area. So I had a real traffic problem because um, this will bring in a lot of people. And those numbers I gave you, that's per week. So you have a lot of people coming in. Um, there are a lot of there. I had a big traffic issue uh, for a long time with cars and, and, and traffic in here. Um, so I should have had more roads getting in and out. The, if this was all laid out on a, on a major street or something like that or over a couple blocks, it would be better rather than having it segmented separately from everything. So here's a road and here's a major road, but it's still kind of segmented. All these cars would get piled in here and get stuck trying to get out. And I got some roundabouts that helped out. But um, what I've also done, though, is I've laid out some public transportation. I have two uh, subway stops for two different lines. I have a subway stop here for this line, and I have a subway stop here for my overall line. I also have a couple of stops for my tram lines. I have a tram line here and then one over here, which is mainly for the college, but I can also walk right across the street here to this. So I got tram lines, um, and that's helped out quite a bit as well. So what you want to do is when you have this kind of area in your town, uh, feel free to lay it out. And, and I, I think it looks really nice, too. I've got all these, you know, the trees. i got a couple of parking garages in here. It's all, you know, like a nice little park. Uh, plenty of parking, plenty of uh, room for people to walk around and wander around. Their hotels are very convenient to where they're at. Uh, I got these was one-way streets to make it a little, little more simple to get around. Um, but I did kind of uh, segment this too far away from the rest of the town, so I had a lot of traffic problems. If I had taken this area and maybe made it, say, this whole area up here, where it was kind of multiple entrances and exits and easy to get to a lot of different places, it would have probably been a little bit better than having, oh, you come off the freeway, you come around here, go around here, go this way, go up this way, and then you're in. And then you want to exit, you got to go back this way and around here, or you got to go around here, around here, around here, and then try and get back to the freeway some other way, down this way. So it's a little little hinky to get in and out. So that was, a, that was a problem with it. But these buildings are fantastic for having an area. And, and most of the time when you have a city that gets decent sized, you're going to want to have an area like this where you have a lot of these different tourist areas. It brings in a lot of money to your town. It uh, brings in a lot more people from outside of town. So it really makes it, the city more uh, vibrant and exciting. It brings a lot more cash. So you make a lot more money. Those buildings are expensive, but they do uh, bring in a nice little profit from them. Um, it gives your, your uh, residents a place to go as well for entertainment, which makes them happier, which means that your city grows faster and increases the, uh, their property values as well. So again, I encourage you to go through here to your unique buildings. Um, again, you can go into Steam Workshop and find other buildings too to add. These are just kind of the standard ones that come with the game and that I, I kind of stick in all the time. Uh, but there are a whole bunch of them on here. Um, I also do the, uh, as you can see, some of the, the shopping center stuff. So here is uh, Bed Bath & Beyond and Party City and Kohl's. Um, they get tourists as well. So 64 tourists came to uh, Party City. Woo! All right. 51 for Bed Bath & Beyond and only 32 for Kohl's. So, uh, so that's kind of interesting. So I have a, these kind of dotted around in different places. Uh, if you do have something like this, you want to have it on a major road. Uh, pro hopefully near some uh, public transportation as well. But um, yeah, these are a very nice way of, of boosting your city. Uh, this section over here, I mean, look how big these buildings are. Good heavens. Let's see what those things are worth too. Yeah, see, this is a really exclusive area, very uh, high end, very shishi uh, right in this area. So it helps out. And that means that all the local home areas are uh, really nice as well. Let's empty out my cemetery here. But it just makes your whole city better off. Makes you uh, better off and uh, and uh, have a lot more population, things like that. Now, this also ties in with your sporting events. Now, sporting events, things, you can, there are a lot of different items you can have. Uh, you have the basic items you can uh, look into. Like here's just the, the basic football stadium that comes with the game. Um, now, if you go into your uh, colleges, though, if you have campus life, uh, what you can do is you can also look in your sporting area. Museum, oh, here's more museums too. Uh, but your sporting area, you have the aquatic center, the basketball arena, 
the track and field, the baseball park, and the American football stadium. And uh, now, again, what you're going to have is a lot of traffic issues. So what I've done is I've put this over here next to my uh, university. And in order to place these, you need to have it. I believe they, they do need to be in the district. Oh, can be placed in and or outside the campus areas. You can put these anywhere in your town you want. That's good. And uh, I put, I've elected to put these on the campus. And uh, my district, uh, here's my college district. And it's going to stretch right down here, down to this sports stuff. Uh, sporting events, all the kind of sporting events uh, cause a lot of traffic. A lot of traffic. So you want to pre be prepared. What I've done here for my sporting stuff is I have a dedicated uh, freeway on-ramp right here. It's right up the road. So you come right up this major road. You can turn in here. You can go over the roundabout in here. I have plenty of parking for my stadiums. Uh, my basketball arena there. Uh, one, oh, okay. Aquatics. Doing pretty well. Baseball. Oh, they 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 suck at baseball. And football stadium five and one. That's just pretty good. Uh, I think this football stadium looks better than the uh, the original they gave you too. That's that's really nice looking. Um, but what I've done here is to take advantage of all this, I've also created a leisure district right here. This is this one little section here. And the leisure district is this thing. And it's all what happens is everything comes up as bars and nightclubs. It's called uh, Alligator Fanplex. And as you can see, this little, the little smiley face there matches this. And what happens is they're all like bars and nightclubs and things like that. Back off. I have one street of that, and they, they have access to the uh, the roundabout as well with a little ramp over here. And then up in this area, I create another district right here, Alligator Suites. And this is set up for tourism. And this is all my hotels areas. So you come into town, you're going to go to the sporting events, and you have plenty of nice hotels to stay in. I can, I've actually finished it. I can expand farther up here if I choose to. It's more Every time I, I log into the game now, this this pond goes crazy and uh, overflows. I don't know. It, it settles down eventually. All the water goes back to where it belongs. But for some reason, logging into the game makes a huge splash. I don't get it. But um, so anyway, so I got these hotels. I got them on a little separate side road so they can kind of get back and forth. Uh, they can walk directly to the uh, stadiums. Uh, but you also always want to make sure that you have plenty of uh, traffic uh, abilities to handle these. I also have, for public transportation, I have a subway uh, station right here, right at the stadiums. So that takes care of a lot of problems. And this is this this connects to this is my overall citywide subway system. So people can get it every way. When I first um, put this system in, I didn't have the subway go all the way around the town, and I had a lot of traffic on this side of town. These people were driving onto this freeway and trying to go all the way around here, trying to come around to get up here to the sports area. So I, I connected the subway all the way around, and uh, traffic disappeared. So that's the thing about the, the tourism areas, sports and museums. They're going to attract a lot of people. And what I've also found is when you have a football game going on, you generally have the other things going on at the same time. When you have one special event at a museum, all the museums are having a special event. So that it just like creates massive traffic jams, unless you kind of uh, lay it out in advance. Um, in this case, I had a lot of problems and I, I was able to fix them. Uh, for the sports center, I knew what to expect and I, I have not had any kind of traffic problems at all. Uh, had a little bit of backup originally. I put this little slip road in here so people could kind of, because everyone's coming up here and kind of looping around. I put this little side road in here and no problems. Uh, these are also one-way roads, I believe. Yeah. This is one big one-way loop. All the roads go around the one way. So you come off the thing, you're going. Or you come off here, you're going. So it's all one way. And uh, so that's really helped out with the traffic. So these are this is a great way to bring in more people in your city, uh, more tourists, brings in more dollars, which also brings in more residents. And more residents means that you're also going to uh, improve your property values and your populations, which means you can do even more things. So it's really useful to try. Um, I like going on the Steam Workshop and getting extra buildings too. Those are a lot of fun. See what you can find. 
Um, it's kind of a bummer. So many of the buildings you have to earn by having all this other stuff. I don't know. I just want to plop them down and, and have fun with it. But uh, but you, know, you can kind of earn things. Some of them are kind of tough to earn too. You have to have like bad things happen to your city, and then you get some things. Like well, that seems kind of counterintuitive. But anyway, so that is our tourism and leisure buildings. Um, it's really useful. It's a lot of fun. Uh, you can add them or not. It depends on what you want to do. But uh, they are available to you in the game, and, and they're a lot of those are available uh, in vanilla without having all the add-ons. These uh, particular buildings were add-ons from the campus DLC. Most of the museums were not. So that's going to do it for this. Until our next uh, Tips and Tricks episode, this is Greg29407 saying au revoir, and we'll see you next time.